There you go, that's pretty nice. Okay, so you want to go aortic root first. Perfect. You go enter to enter. Kisses up next to the other. Exactly. You need to make adjustments. You need to make it from there. Should it be? It's not on top, like, right? It's like right yeah, right there. If anything, right to the front of it a little. Again, okay. so your goal is kind of lumen to lumen, mm -hmm. like uh, Dr. Davis had said. And now you'll just try touch and drag down to the wall. So sometimes the calipers may not meet if the wall looks yeah, a little bit thickened. Yes, or exactly. Okay. And, and then again, use your kind of judgment mm -hmm. in that area. Because there, there are certain scenarios to where you may have to, and again, this is something we do for you too, is you may have to make some mal adjustments mm -hmm. with your calipers when you have a, such a pseudo thick area. But here we're pretty good with that area. Perfect. Okay. We'll just hit that. Takes those measurements off. Doc, if you want to repeat that, we'll down with that section. Okay. Let's see. Okay. say we want it in diastole? If you find it, yeah, because actually there's two set of parameters, one in diastole and one in systole. So what we shoot for, we just kind of move it more to the most widest section. That way we know we're pretty much as far as it will go out. And see how your line's a little more thinner in mm -hmm. the middle than that? Okay, so you can kind of see. So aortic root first. you not where you decide you think I want you. Mm -hmm. You're not like following my finger. doesn't like the temperature of my fingers. <laughs> so you have to have a pulse there, Doc? Yes, <laughs> I'm dead. Okay. So, and you can see we're at a one-to-one. -one. Mm -hmm. So even if we took that, say, say we went out and just however we artifactually created that and we took the picture, okay? Mm -hmm. So we'll see how the algorithm and then you'll, calculates and you'll say, that. Yeah, we're fixing that. Well, for sure. Mm -hmm. And you'll see... The, the algorithm will compensate for that though. Okay, so once we're done with our measurements, mm -hmm. the last thing we do is hit report page. Okay, so all our measurements are going to be listed here in format for your cardiologist and or veterinarians that want this information. Okay, so what we do here is use this number one button. We're going to go up to page two, number one, page three, Number one, page four, number one, page five, number one. Always print that last page. So we're attaching all on. those we're attaching all those okay. measurements You're we done to the study. Each yes, Got we're it. taking a picture of each one. Because when the cardiologist opens this up, then he's gonna go to these numbers to start working up his report. Okay? Or she. So we'll go here. And so it took our 1.5, our 1.2, and our 1.7, and it kind of put us at about a 1.5, you know, right in okay, that area. Okay, mine was 1.11. So, let's see, where That's is good. that? I think it's another one over here. <laughs> no, mine was 1.11 yeah. until you decided you were going to make it. Until I made oh, it admirable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're right. So, you notice, you, you don't blow your study completely up. It'll average that, those numbers out here, okay? And let's see, let's go to... Okay, this is a cool point. So these are our anatomical measurements right here. Where you see Ty, Cube, and Gibson, those are three different uh, 
physicist who probably wrote these algorithms, okay, so your cardiologist reviews that whole set. You can kind of see where it had us about 60 to 73. Those were when we just measured the mushroom itself. And three different people, three different measurements, and you can see how it kept us here. When we done our M-mode measurement, here's our M-mode measurements. Almost essentially the same. Okay? So that proves to you that one method versus the other can get you where you need to go. Okay? We do want M-mode for gold standard, though, from that. Okay, so that's kind of where this number show you. What's really nice about your machine, too, say you had an outside vet refer to you because they know you can do echo studies now, the print button here will auto-generate you a report with all your professional information here. Okay, you do animal, whatever doctor was scanning, and then all those numbers. Just in that set of measurements we done, the value of this information that comes up. All you have to do is stick a flash drive in the computer port here, hit print, I'm sorry, export. Okay, so it does have the ability to select a wireless printer if, if you guys want to set one up. Um, if not, cancel that. If not, just export, select your thumb drive, and hit OK. I think we've done this for Dr. Duke previously or something, I don't remember. So remember, you have that ability with this equipment, too, as well. Just don't confuse that with attaching that report to here, so your number one button. And you can type stuff out if you needed to tell a cardiologist a couple things just on the image. You know, you can type a note in there if you need it from there. Okay. Most important important part of the exam, everyone's favorite part, is just end your exam. And that closes that folder and would send it over to Ankur up from there. If you done all those measurements and you forgot to print the report page, you didn't do anything wrong, you just come find your people again. We're going to find Monkey. We'll hit OK. All you'd have to do is hit your red ruler and go to report, and you notice your report page will still be in there. That's the same way you would go back and access this patient at the end of the day if you wanted to go back and do measurements. So if you opened his case up and we didn't do any measurements, all you'd have to do is hit file folder. You would come over here and start with whichever first of your measurements you wanted to do. And that's how you can open up and do that at the end of the day. Just remember when you select your people, you want to hit the OK button because that will open up the case for you to be able to add images to it. You don't want to hit the review because if you hit review, it's just going to let you look at your images. You won't be able to add you anything to, to the folder. The you won't be able to save anything, mm -hmm. any pictures, okay. anything. So you always want to hit the OK button there. Okay, and then we'll kind of finish that area. We'll just 